What's up travelers? In this video we're gonna have the absolute best spaghetti carbonara in all of Rome. So stick around. But first we're gonna go and get some spaghetti from Maratricia. What's up travelers? So we just got done uh, with a long day over at the, in the Roman Forum. I'm tripping all over my tongue here. But now I'm just stopped to get some dinner at uh, Masenzio Aifori. You can see the forum from here, but it's not like super close. I was just checking out the menu. Like most of their pastas are homemade and their desserts are homemade. I ended up ordering uh, roasted potatoes with cacio cheese and black pepper. So it's kind of like cacio pepe, except it's not pasta, it's potatoes. And then I also ordered some homemade pasta with a Mariancia sauce. A Mariancia is one of the oldest recipes in the Roman cookbook. So I'm pretty excited about that. If food gets here, we're going to have some great eats. We got our Cacio Pepe potatoes here. And let's dig in. It's good. It's nowhere as good as the pasta, but it's good. These are definitely a good appetizer. Mm. Yeah. I like this. And cheese, it's kind of like a, a medium sharpness. The pepper, it's got a pretty good kick to it. And this is the first actual appetizer other than the bruschetta I got last night. But this is the first weird kind of appetizer that I found that I've gotten. I'm a fan, for sure. I highly recommend these potatoes. So we finally got our Ameritriciana. Yeah. This looks absolutely phenomenal. Huge ass spaghetti noodles. Fantastic. Like I said, this is one of the oldest recipes in the Roman cookbook, so let's check it out. Mm. Oh yeah, that is the best spaghetti I've ever had. Got some nice pork belly in with her. This tomato sauce, it is spectacular. Oh man, I am so hungry after today. What a long day. After spending a week here in Rome eating homemade pasta, I'm thinking about getting a pasta machine. <laughs> This is the real deal right here. This is everything spaghetti was supposed to be. I'm never putting ground beef in spaghetti again. Straight going straight for the bacon. <laughs> You're in Rome. This is right over by the Roman Fori. This is uh, Nascenzio de Fori. Uh, all their food seems to be homemade. and made to order, so it takes a while to get to you, but the potatoes were awesome. This is this is this showstopper right here. Like, subscribe.
What's up, travelers? So I'm sitting here at Armando uh, Patreon. This place is one of the top uh, uh, restaurants in all of Rome. It's well known for their spaghetti a la carbonara, so that is what I came to get. Here we are. It's already ordered. So we got our spaghetti a la carbonara here. It's got pecorino, romano cheese, egg, black pepper, and pork belly. It just smells amazing. I always feel so blessed whenever I get an opportunity to eat at a Michelin rated restaurant. Yes. Mm. Oh my word. <laughs> it's so creamy, just salty. It's just the perfect marriage of flavors. The egg yolk just ties it together just like have you ever had something so good that you just don't know how to explain it. That's what's going on here. <laughs> I just got a full on hit of that pork belly. Oh man. This bite. It's gonna be amazing because it's got a lot of pork belly, it's got something of everything in it. This place is another place that you usually need a reservation to get into. I got lucky again. <laughs> it's only a block away, no, like half a block away from the Pantheon. You can see it from the front door. Come here and get some carbonara. Hey, man. Food should not be this good. <laughs> the chef here, his name is Claudio Gargioli. He's written a couple of books. One of the top chefs in Italy, and I understand why. So I just got a double espresso here. Ooh, that is smooth. Mm. Boy, they sure know how to make an espresso here in Italy. I tell you that for sure. You know caramello candy bars? If it had dark chocolate, that's what this coffee tastes like. So, so good. Oh, I just got so double espresso here. That is smooth. Mm. Boy, they sure know how to make an espresso here in Italy. I tell you that for sure. Mm. You know caramello candy bars? If it had dark chocolate, that's what this coffee tastes like. Mm. So, so good. Hey, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is going to be released. As always, eat great food.